Hello, hello, hello. So, we are back to testing our ultimate load order for 2020. Now, for some reason, <laughs> there were just a lot of uh, little minor issues with testing this and having some having some troubles with some things, which we'll get into later. But uh, right now, I think we've got most of that settled. So we're going to go through. And let's see, I'm trying to decide, do I want to play a Nord? You know, it is Skyrim, and sometimes maybe I should just go ahead and play a Nord. I don't play Nords a lot. I like that guy pretty good, though. And all these guys are pretty good. It, you know, depends on what you like. Some are better than others. Anyway, so I'm going to make us a new guy here, and uh, these are some other presets added by another mod, but we'll get into that. At most of the most of the mods in this load order hmm, are probably subjective mods, but a good number of them are the ones from our um, from our. Uh, Owie's show for this year for, for 2020. Okay, so a good number. I like this guy pretty good. I think we're just going to go with him. Uh, a good number of them come from that, and that's that's was that was our intent. I'm not going to give him horns. Am I going to give him any war paint? I don't know. But um, but there are a lot of subjective mods, and I did throw in a couple of new mods for fun. Just, just for fun. Just for the heck of it. So, we're going to see what happens as we go. Don't want his war paint to be red. Sometimes I do. Not sure of the design I want or if I want any. Sometimes it's fun to do something like this. <laughs> kind of crazy. And then make him like bald. Um, let's see what happens if we if we make him. Um, that's almost bald. I think there's an actual bald too, isn't there? Well, I thought there was. Maybe you do balding. Hmm. Maybe that other one was as close to bald as you get. And of course, you could do this. I don't know if that would do any good. And then facial hair, you can always just like remove. Let's just remove that for a minute and see. Eh, I think he's better off with the facial hair, honestly. I kind of like the that look. That's pretty good. And this isn't bad. That's a little much, but... That's not bad. Let's see, I think I have another hair that he can use. Let's see if I can find it here. <laughs> oh, we can have some fun with that one, right? That would be hilarious, but I'm not a big fan of a lot of this. But it's what we have in our game, so I'm trying it out. Oh, I'm not a big fan of a lot of this either. Okay. Well, okay. Not sure why I kept all this in the game. This is not that great. Maybe I should go out and change our hairstyles. I know. I'm probably using too much space for stuff I'm not even going to use. Well, let's see. Hmm. This is a tough choice for me. What's that? Uh, I don't usually like the ponytail thing. I'm not going to go with it. I'm going to go with this, I think. And I don't even know if we're going to go with the war paint now. You know, now that I've looked at it. If 
if we were going to do war paint, would we be better off to do something like that? I'm not exactly thrilled with it. You could do a nice purple like that, or a good red. There's a good red here. Um, a couple of good reds, actually. And there is that. You know, I think we're just going to not do it, not bother. I don't like it that much. Let's see. I, he's pretty good as is. His nose looks a little... Might fix his nose here. Let's see if we can do something about his nose. Make it a little more normal. Is that better? It's a little less character, though, isn't it? This nose, for all that it's beat up, is has a little more character. <laughs> it does. It does. Um... Oh my goodness, that's that's probably too much character. That's actually not too bad. It depends on what you like. Wow. Okay. I'm not I'm not getting anywhere with this nose thing, am I? I guess that's okay. It seems from the side, it seems a little short, doesn't it? What if we push it out a little? Does that make it a little more normal? Well, that seems better from a profile standpoint. Do a little more. Okay. All right. That's not too bad. We'll go with that. I'm okay with that. Um, let's see. I don't know if I want to mess with this eye shape so much. A lot of times I just go with it. I do want him to have some, some unusual eyes. Let's just go back here and see what we get. I'm just going to stop randomly. Those are some different colors there. That's piercing or whatever you want to call it. That's pretty, pretty bold. Well, let's go with that. That'll be fun. Um, brow. Let's see. Um, I don't mind if he has a bit of a wild brow, but I don't know. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, you can give him like the orc brows. I'm not gonna do that though. Um, let's roll back. Hold on. So you have fairly normal. You have a little bit of... That gives him a little bit of... I think I'm going to go... I think I'm just going to stick with that. It gives him a little bit of character. <clears throat> it depends on what you like, but... Let's see. Mouth-wise, I think he's pretty good. I don't see a problem with that. Do we want to give him a little color so he doesn't look so pale? not actually makeup, it's just like give him some color so it'll look a little better. Let's try some hair color here. Oh, that's pretty good. Depends on what you like. That's nice. What's my other options? Do we have anything kind of funky? Oh, we do. We do get some green. We can have some fun. He can have some green hair. Or... That's almost... It's not quite purplish, but... He can have blue. Blue tinted hair. That's not bad. And there's a purple, which is not bad. And oh, a blue. That's another blue. So there's some variations. Some of those are a little too bright for my taste, but... <clears throat> that's not bad if you like. I do like blue and purple and stuff like that. And I like the green. And there is this shade here, which is kind of blue-gray, which is interesting. I think he needs something kind of dark because those eyes are really standing out. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's a good black right there. I may just go with the basic black. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with that. All right. Let's see. Did I get his... His, you know, his skin tone is okay. I'm going to leave it alone. If we're going to do a Nord, he should be kind of, I guess, kind of pale anyway. But he's not too pale, so I think that'll be all right. Okay, and we're going to go with this look here. That's not bad. It's its own thing. It's its own character, so that's okay. All right, I hadn't decided on a name yet, but we'll name him, and I'll take him to the cheat room. And uh, we'll take it from there. We're just going to go through a lot of stuff here just to, uh, like I said, we're just going to test our load order and we get him ready so that we can take him out and play and actually travel around and make sure that things are working. So, all right. So I will see you in a few moments. All right. So I chose a random alternate start for our guy here. And what did I call him? I called him Woden, I think. Yep, just for fun. Since we're playing a Nord, we should try to do a Norse style of thing, right? Now, let's see. I don't know. Do I really need... Sometimes I wonder if I really need my cursor and all that. Good morning. See what she has here. Take a look. I should just sell some of my junk while I'm here. I'm going to go to the cheat room and get him some better stuff anyway. <laughs> I know. I'm just like, oh, just sell this junk. We don't need it. Just sell it. It's fine. Sell all that. Sell that. Yeah, sell all that. Watch him get in trouble somehow and get killed. You know, <laughs> be terrible. Um, let, let's just do this. Okay, we'll sell that. Okay, so he's got a little money. He's not going to get any right, training then. from her right now. Something I can get for you? Now, now we're running around like this. But that's okay. We'll fix him up. Hold ah, on. Hello there, traveler. What can you tell the me about place? the inn? Huh. Been here forever. Built by my great granddad. Run by him, then all the way up the line to me. All right. Well, that's great. Do you get a lot of business? Nah, not so much. The odd traveler on the road. But mostly just old full-time. Come to drink away a lifetime of bad memories, I'd wager. I Worse, suppose. there's the orc. Long-term tenant, that one. For what he pays, I could afford to shut this place down. All right, tell Him? me about the orc. Oh, uh, uh, name's uh, Balablob or uh, Malaklob. Uh, one of them funny <laughs> orc names. Talks real good, though. Not the savage at all. Said he's a writer. Don't know what kind of job that is, but it must earn him some pretty coin. He's paid up for the next few months. Good for he him. He mostly just hangs about. Goes down to the lake, sometimes samples the stores of wine in the cellar. Man can do whatever he pleases, as far as I care. All right. Let's see. I'm not going to rent a room. Uh, let's see what he's heard about rumors. Oh, there's the Helgen rumor, of course. We had to have that. Heard any more? I heard tell of a lad in Oh, Montana. he's trouble. Aventus Aretino. He's always trouble. They say he's been doing the Black Sacrament, trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Damn fool. Oh, it's terrible. Have you seen that shrine the of shrine Azura? The shrine of Azura? They oh. say the Dark Elves built it. After they fled from Morrowind. This is trouble too. Sight to see. Anything People else? say there's someone in Riften that, oh, can, that can change, change your, your face. face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? I don't know if I believe that or not. All right. Oh, that's seen probably enough magic in about my college. day to know to stay away from it. I'd stay away from the Yarrow's Wizard and Dawnstar, too. Oh, if right. you want to be a damn fool, go to the college in Winterhold instead. <laughs> if you want to be a fool. If you want to be a fool. Anything All right. you need. Well, that was fun. 
Alright, so let's see. I don't think I have anything set on my favorites bar. And this guy is running around basically with no clothes. Um, hold on a second. I want to favorite these things and then put that on my right hand. Okay. Right, okay. So he's basically running around like this. <laughs> Whoa, hey, who's this? The beds and beer are both loud. Come here a lot. The other inns around here? Where else would I go to drink? Well, I don't know. Why are you being so grumpy about it? What you know about well, the work? Well, he doesn't like company, I can tell you that much. Just wants to be left alone. Oh, no, that... That's not really it. It's like he wants to talk. He likes people and all, but... He stays separate... Because he's supposed to. It's kind of sad, really. Mm. Sure, okay. walk away. I wasn't talking or anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy is, is fussy. All right, anyway, so we're going to go to the cheat room and get our guy set up. Um, I'm going to do a save here. We're in, where are we? Are we in the night gate inn? We are. We're in the night gate inn. So we'll come back here later. Now, I've not done any, we're not really that far from Helgen, though, are we? Wait, that's not right. The night gate inn isn't down here. The night gate inn, isn't it up here? Well, maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. Well, anyway, we'll come back and look at that in a few minutes. I think they've got me in the wrong place here, though. I don't think I'm down here. But there's Helgen, so... Nonetheless, let's close that up there. Well, I think you'll do. We just got to fix him up, so... I'm going to take him and get him situated, get him ready to play, so... I will be back. I don't want to put you through all the boring stuff. <laughs> all right, so I'm loading into White Run. I think I've got him pretty much set to start with. We got to get, uh, we got to get him some gear and stuff, though. So, I mean, I've just done some basic setup, getting his. Uh, you know, I don't like to level off of crafting and speech, so I always just max those out. That way he can craft whatever he needs. It gives him an advantage early in the game, but as the game goes on and he levels, things will get harder. Since I intend to keep this load order around a while and actually play it more, I'm starting him out. Pardon me, I was having some coffee. I'm starting him out in that way. So, so this is his first pop into... We'll pay whatever it takes. Why run? We must have more and of course, you're going to have the usual soldiers. talking there. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. I just can't Please fill an order that, that size. Pride of yours and ask your Greymane for help. Now I'll tell you, I did not end up using. We're just going to grab our supplies here. I did not end up using Morgan's replacer because Morgan's NPC replacer still had issues with having its own face texture and things going on. So I had problems with that. I spend a lot of time at the market. So I am using the Botox NPC replacer because I I just don't have those pro kind of problems with it. Now, there are some very subjective things in this load order besides just the fact that I did the uh, a lot of the mods. Oh, wait, I forgot. we got to go to the end. Wow, I'm, my driving is terrible. This third-person view using the, uh, the camera that we're using, the dynamic camera, it's just a little different. It takes a little getting used to. Once you get used to it, it is really good. Actually, let's just do a quick save. It will be fun. Um, so... A big part of this game here is just going to be playing and seeing what works and what doesn't. There were some, some subjective things that I added, of course, of course there were. But uh, a lot of this is, like I said, a lot of the big stuff is from our show. So I'm just going to grab him some food. I'm not going to take all the food because it's way too much stuff. We're just going to take, like, I like to take the chicken dumplings because it's funny, because I like chicken dumplings. And then I'm going to take the uh, venison stew down here at the bottom. And I think we're going to leave the rest of it. We're just going to take him some stuff. That way he can use this on his bar. 
can just put it on his favorite so he can use it when he wants to. We're gradually going to grow a few things, but I'm going to try to keep this bar pretty contained, you know. So, all right, let's move on. I am, like I said, I have used some subjective things, so, and we'll explain some of that as we go. I'm using a sky, luminosity Skyrim is lit, which adds light, interior lighting. I'm using Cathedral Weathers, and I added, uh, I made it vivid just one time. I might increase that, but for right now, I think just that little pop of color is nice. So don't talk to those and then, you sold me the other day. let's see, what else did I do that might be a little, um, <clears throat> trying to remember. Oh, I didn't do anything with Homsker, that's for sure. Let's see, um. I'm using the new Cathedral Water Overhaul. Someone put a new version out there. They said it's newer than the other one. So I put it out. I put it in the load order just for, you know, that sake, just for fun. Um, these little whatever, I forget the name, braziers. Um, those are from a mod that I've tried before and I liked. And I just thought I would include them for fun. I couldn't include a huge graphic overhaul, so what I did was I tried to include some little things. The reason we couldn't is because a lot of the Nephilim stuff is so big. Alright, so we're here in Dragon's Reach. Now, let's see. I just want to go back here and get my crafting stuff. My father says I'm too young to train with the sword. So I practice with my fists. So I practice with my fists. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. One of the new servants? Remember that I like my meat rare. Uh-huh. The only well, grown-ups who talk to me are the kind I don't want to talk to turn his thoughts to the wall. You're his steward. He listen to you. Leave me out of your intrigues, Rockgar. If you have something Make to a move on, toward Balra, and dead. Oh, come on. Oh, All right. Let's see. Let's get our enchanting supplies. Sorry, sometimes I have to just kind of test her and look at her and think about it. <laughs> Every now and then I want to do something crazy. Let's see. Let's look at our supply pouch here. There we go. We have to get it to load sometimes. There we go. Take that stuff with us. All right, so we can head back to the cheat room now and fix up some armor and stuff for him. I like these braziers better than the other braziers. It's not that they're... It's, I guess they're not. I mean, aesthetically, I find them a little more pleasing. Um, I don't know. I just do. I think they look a little better. So, it depends on what you like. Like I said, there's going to be some subject subjective things in the game as we go through. And as a matter of fact, there's a banner mod I might try just to see how they look. But anyway, I'm going to probably take him on to the cheat room. And then we will we'll get him outfitted. Now I won't put you through all that boring stuff. And then we'll come back. Go, go, go! All right, so here's how we ended up with Woden. Now we're back at the Nightgate Inn. I don't think I have anything to sell her, but mm -hmm. let me just check. Take a look. Let me just check, see if I have anything to sell to her really quickly. Oh, yeah, I do. I want to get rid of that. We're going to keep our stuff. Um, That stuff's all okay. Yeah, we'll just hold on to that stuff. Yeah, okay. So anyway. Farewell. So this is the, this is a combination of armors that uh, Raxinate put up. These are from Nord War, and um, they're from, uh, uh, what's that, uh, the Game of Thrones. Uh, oh man, I can't speak. Anyway, from the Game of Thrones show. And they're kind of styled after that. Now, this is a couple of different pieces. This is like, uh, I've combined some of the Lord's armor and the Knight's armor.
because funny enough, the Lord's armor had the better uh, armor value, and I decided that Odin here is going to need all the help he can get. Now we're going to step outside, and hopefully everything will go well. And uh, we're going to travel around and stuff. I'm going to test the traveling and then come back here. So um, I'll be back in a minute. We haven't taken a side. Because all right, so here we are in Windhelm. Right. Maybe the reason these gray skins don't help. Let me uh, throw a torch up on the situation here. Imperial spies. We're imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight. Oh, my goodness. we got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh, we heard that. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? No. You You're fine. You've to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Well, I wouldn't say that, but thank you anyway. Nothing new there. Now, Most one thing North about, we're going to look Windhelm around here in Windhelm for a minute, is I have... Uh, there's a dragon out there. The great the small hours this could be trouble. I have... I'm not even listening to her. I have a Windhelm... Um, Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse mod. And it isn't just And I wanted to try to get a look at it. Of course, it's not time. But we have a dragon flying around out there, which that does happen sometimes at Windhelm. But I didn't expect it this early in the game. I'm only level one. All right. Safe travels. Yes, safe travels. You go ahead. Head off. So, you notice we're still getting our our change in the braziers here, which is good. Um, we can't really see the stuff here as good as I would like. I'm going to take the torch off because it's night time. I don't know if I can uh, change our time or not since the dragon is out there, but I'm going to try to switch this to daytime. And we'll take a look. Now, I am using invisible helmets, so you'll see a lot of people do not have helmets. And that's pretty normal when I do that. It's just to it's give no us an idea. the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. But who's going to stop him? Me? I have no problem. I don't think so. Not me. No, I'm not going to stop it. So let's see. Um, Let's get us to morning time so we can see better. I kind of want to walk around Windhelm and see what it looks like. I forget the name of the mod, and we'll go over that when we go through all of this, assuming it survives all the testing. Um, and of course we have some city trees. There's not a lot of trees added to Windhelm, but there's a few. That just doesn't look good, and I have a snow mod. Uh, you know, it, it seems like no matter what I do, sometimes the snow and stuff just doesn't look good. And I guess it's because this is an older game. I mean, there's only so much we can really expect to do. But does that look good? That doesn't really look good to me. Mm, mm, mm. So that's all right. I mean, it's, you know, it's something. We're, we'll look at stuff again. Um, I heard swords being drawn. You picked a bad time to get lost. Oh, who's on me? Oh, bandits. Even with my encounter mods and stuff, they're still not as tough as some. There's another bounty up here. But I do have encounter mods turned on. Uh-oh. There's still somebody else. Watch out, guard. I'll get her. Careful with that fire. Fire? Oh, I guess my sword does have fire damage on it. I didn't hit you, though, girl. Anyway... I have, I do have some encounter mods, so you get some random attacks here and there. It's kind of fun, um, even though these bandits aren't as challenging right now. 
It's still kind of fun. All right. So anyway, I'm just looking around to see if there's if I can see huge differences in Windhelm. Um. So far, I would have to say not major differences. Hmm. It's okay though, but it's just I'm not seeing. I thought I would see. I guess I expect too much. <laughs> I probably do. I probably expect too much. I thought we would see more changes than this. But nonetheless. We will go over uh, the different mods and things, but, uh, hmm. And that's, that's later after we get done, but at least so far in our testing, you know, we were able to travel here. We got here very easily with no issues. Whose house is this? Oh, okay. I don't want to start the Dark Brotherhood stuff, so. And I know, I should be playing third person, shouldn't I? But, I don't know, I I really enjoy first person a lot. Hi, mister. Hello. Would you like to buy some flowers, please? Sure, I'll buy some flowers. What do you Not have? Much, but I hope you like them. We'll be nice and buy her flowers. We don't have any need for them, but we'll buy them anyway. 18 flower baskets. You can keep your flower baskets, little girl. There you go. Okay. Well, I can't take her in. I don't, I don't have any place for her to live. So. I, sometimes I adopt her. But. It's not that simple. Ulfric wants Skyrim for the Nords. He doesn't trust what he calls outsiders. You've seen how we live. Cramped alleys, run-down buildings, few guard patrols. Even the name Grey Quarter is an insult. I'll speak to Ulfric soon, but I make no promises that I can change his mind. That's all I ask. With your help, we have a chance to make a better life for ourselves here. For that, I thank you. Good luck. There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives. I understand. Well, Saudry, Saudry's here. Let's go in and sail to Saudry real fast. Hopefully this will be a quick load. I, I mean, we're Got just going into the store. There we go. Give a holler if you have any questions. Sure, how you doing, dude? All my goods are legitimate, which is more than I can say for some. Nothing's here stolen? Nothing at of all? Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. <laughs> oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible yes, mistake. Yes, a terrible mistake. I've got a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. Oh, you're in trouble now. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Look, it's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something, I will make it worth your while. All right, oh, all right. A bit of this and a bit of that. A bit of this and a bit of that, yes. Let's see. Let's see. I need to sell him some junk that I picked up off those bandits. It's terrible. Yes, you can keep the fur armor and bracers and shoes and all that stuff. All right. Is that good? That's... Oh, wait. There's a potion of water breathing. Don't need it. Um, You can keep the tomato. Mm, I could just sell all the ingredients, but there's no need to do that. You, I might need them. Oh, wait. We can get rid of some of these little letters. Just take those for me. You can take the Argonian account. I'll take these recipes for me. Here we go. I forgot I had these recipes. Don't really need them. Dun dun, selling the recipes. 
you know, real life needs a cheat room, I think. It would just make things so much easier. <laughs> don't let Viola catch you in her house. All right, dude, don't worry about it. We'll take care of you. It'll be all right. All right, so Windhelm seems okay. I mean, I do have a mod for it. I, I really, I have to say that I can't really tell that much difference, which is too bad. Um, we're going to do no clip. Just pardon me. We're going to fly up in the sky a little bit. Um, I want to get a look at the town. I know it kind of drives the game crazy when I do this, but I want to get a look at the town from up above. I'm just not seeing. Oh, I'm in the tree. I'm just not seeing a huge difference with this overhaul. Some things are popping in and out. Now, I have noticed when I do the no clip ring, everyone just stands around. It's like they can't move because I'm using the no clip ring. Which is weird. See, she's trying to move and he's trying to move, but they're stuck in place. That's just because I'm using this ring. All right, let's drop down out of here. That's, I don't see anything that greatly different. So we'll we'll review this mod at a later time. I mean, everything is at least functioning, but uh, The appearance of it, sometimes the appearance of these overhauls and things, just I'm like, I don't really see a lot of difference. So, not trying to complain. I mean, it's just the way it is. So, let's make a trip down to Riften, which, since we've been here to Windhelm. Now, you'll notice if my map looks a little bright, and I think it does, I think it's because I'm using a, a snow and ice mod. One of them is making this a little brighter than normal. I don't really mind so much if it's a little bright. It's fine. It doesn't really bother me. But I think it is a little brighter than normal. Okay. All right. So we're going to head to Riften. And I will see you there in a minute. All right. So we're in Riften. Now, there is a Riften overhaul in play here. I had another run-in with the Thief's Guild. Oh, me all had another run in with the Thieves, the Thieves Guild. Guild has in Black You're a stranger here, too, huh? One snap of her fingers and you could end up in the I guess. To call it a guild is ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? They're the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by a strict set of rules and tradition. These thieves are just rabble. What okay. do you think? Oh, I agree you know, completely. I'm beginning to respect you. Other than Aaron, you seem to be the only other person I've met I might be able to trust. Since we share the same opinion of them, let me warn you that they're recruiting others to join their guild, uh -huh. and you should be cautious. I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a fresh-faced young woman barely able to swing a blade. My travels have taken me from High Rock to Vellenwood, Elsewhere to Morrowind and all points in between. Oh, okay, why are you here Many then? years ago I lost my blade. Oh, seven, here we go. She's going to give me the quest. I took it as a sign that I was wasting my days in search of wealth. You and I are alike. We seek challenge and great fortune. But for me, that's where the similarities end. You see, Riften is my great beast to be slain. And my fortune comes from gratitude and trust. Oh, okay. So it's she's not going to give me the quest yet. I've taken the burdens of this city's problems upon myself, and I keep running into impossible obstacles. Corruption, lies, and deceit are the order of the day here. If it wasn't for Eren, the young man who saved my life, I think I'd already have given up long ago. It was Eren who found me dying outside of a Dwemer ruin. If he hadn't brought me here and nursed me back to health, I would have died. When my strength returned and he told me about the problems plaguing Lifton, I decided fate brought me here for a reason. So I stayed. Okay. Well, she's not going to give me that quest. They I thought she the might reason give it I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Meredith. All right. So let's talk to Maul. You know how this goes. I don't know you. I don't you know you either. looking for trouble? Maybe. What's it to you? Don't say something you'll regret. 
Last thing the Blackbriars <laughs> need is some loudmouth trying to meddle in their affairs. Who are the Blackbriars? The Blackbriars yeah. have Who? ripped it in their pocket, and the Thieves Guild watching their back. Oh, so keep your troubles. nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Dirt, huh? And we're speaking the same language. Good. So what do you want to know? Uh, nothing really. No, I, I'm tired of talking to Maul. Thanks hey, anyway, you, dude. Get over here. I want to talk to you. Uh, that's funny. He was supposed to say that before now. I'm what did you want? When you him, well, nothing. Be seeing you around. Be seeing you. Yeah, yep, yep. yep. I know I How so, oh. Would get Why does my marker take me here? I don't even think I can get in. Well, yes, I can get in Honeyside because I do have a key. I took it out of the Why? cheat room. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Oh. Last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. <laughs> oh, dude. She's got huh? you in trouble. You work yes. at the stables. Horses are yes, let's move this conversation along. What kind of trouble are you I owe in? a great deal of money. Oh, tell me the able details. To work out, but let's keep some... it quick. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay... I'll help you out. You will? Sure. Why not? Thank you. Not like Be I have anything else to do, right? Da -da -da. I do not want to talk to Brynjolf. Brynjolf, stay away from me. I just want to get a quick look at the town. I can feel, now I can feel it in my eyes. The frame rate's a little low with this overhaul. It's not a bad overhaul, though. It loaded up fine. And things advice. look pretty Don't good. But I can feel... I can feel a little sluggishness in the frame rate. You know how you can feel that with your eyes. That's exactly what I'm feeling. Now you may not be able to see it on the video. I'm not sure how that relays, honestly. But I like the look of it pretty good. But like I said, it feels a little slow. And it does. It hurts my eyes just a little bit. So I don't know if I will keep this rift and overhaul even though I kind of like it. Hmm. Alright. Well, I think we should leave Riften and go somewhere else. I wonder if I have the key for this. Hold on. I'm going to do a quick save before I get in trouble. Oh, I don't have the key for this. <sighs> it requires a key to open. It's a special key. We're so special. Yeah, I, know. I get all attitude about it. It's like, come on. Give me the key. All right, but we are going to go somewhere else. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go to Mark Arth. I'm going to pull my sword out so I'm ready to roll. Because you know how Mark Arth is the first time you go there. But since we're doing this little tour, I want to make sure everything loads and works fine. Let's see. So we're going to go to Markarth. I will see you there in a minute. Open fire! Open fire! All right, here we are. And there he is. Oh, we got him. I die for my people. Yes, you do. And I don't care. Well, he's pretty buff for such a ragged-looking dude. There are no folks here. What's up, girl? By the gods, that man nearly killed me. Yes, he oh, nearly he killed you. My life. I had to catch him. Thank you. Here. I was going to bring this to my sister, but I think you should have it. Of course, if you have the cheat room and the cheat spells, if you do miss catching him ahead of time, you can always, no, uh, you can always res idea. her. I was just shopping for a pendant for my sister back in the Imperial City. Uh-huh. I've heard of them. Something about the men who live in the hills and attack caravans. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I don't know anymore. I'm just visiting here from Cyrodiil. All right, all right. Stay calm. Gods. Oh. A woman attacked right on the streets. Are you all right? Did you see what happened? See, I don't think you're supposed to be able to kill him before he kills her, but... You can. I mean, you can, even in the vanilla game, so... Let's see. Um... 
Oh, he didn't so, almost kill me, but we'll just say I that anyway. Aid give you more peace in the future. Yes. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Oh, no, it's your important. note, and I know it. Mm, what do you know uh, about the attack? I was just getting some fresh air. Oh, you look like I a force one to me. Need at the Silver Blood Inn. I think we need to kill you. My note. No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Mm-hmm. All right then. Hello, Miss Guard. How are you? Things from here. Move along. I said, move along. The Force One are just a bunch of madmen. We have everything under control. Stay out of it. All right. That's right. It isn't. Okay, I'll move along. Mm -hmm. Stay calm. Don't be so grumpy. All right. So anyway, we came here to Markarth. Now I don't have an overhaul for Markarth. Okay. Markarth just is what it is. I do not have any sort of overhaul. This is just the way it is. It's pretty, probably pretty vanilla. I mean, of course I do have some things going on. Um, but I don't really see a lot of differences here. Everything looks very much the going. same. What is it? So, but we've proven that we can travel here and run around. And that's really all I cared about right off. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take us up to Solitude, and that means we'll also see the execution of Rogvir again. But it's just to make sure that we can travel around to the major towns and everything loads. So I'll be back in a moment. Alright, so here we are. It's kind of night time. What time is it? It's, um... Okay, yeah. They're going to execute him in the middle of the night, of course, and everybody's going to come out. Get on with it! Traitor! Traitor. Does she know now? Some gate guard you were! All right. Dog there, you helped Ulrich Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered Hiking Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric. I've been waiting for Rob Fear's execution. He to speak. Oh, he's been waiting for it. I want to see it. He beat the High King in fair combat. Oh, they don't care about that. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim. Nope. All Nords. Nope, they don't care. Boo hiss. Yeah, let's brighten things up a little bit. Boo hiss. Yep. On this day, you're going I down. Go to Sodom Guard. Oh, choppy chop. That was pretty clean. That was also pretty gross. Let these guys settle down, and then maybe I can sneak up and take his necklace off his body. Is it too soon? Sometimes, if you come up too soon, you get in trouble. I took his pitiful remains. Rogvir, why did it have to be like this? Well, I don't know that it had to be like Good this. Good to bad rubbish, I said. Oh my goodness, yeah. she's mean. She's cruel. Ah. I'm a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of animals. Noster, dude. The man opens this. a gate and they cut his head off? Doesn't seem right to me. I have to agree. That, does, that seems a little a extreme. Cut his head off? Doesn't seem right to me. I should have drawn it out some more. He deserved a slower death. A slower death? Okay. Well, the yes, I'm carrying a torch too. Woo. It's a little dark out here in the rain. Alright, so anyway, we can travel around. I'm just going to get us down to the business of actually playing. We've at least traveled around and proven that we can travel around. And I think that's a good thing. I mean, you know, it's always good to check and just travel around to the major towns, make sure they load, make sure you can travel around. Because in general, if you can, if you can travel around, you can at least get a start playing your game and see where that takes you. If you can't even travel around Skyrim, then there's really no point even starting to play because you're just going to have more and more trouble as you go. And just because we do this kind of minimal testing to begin with, it doesn't mean that the load order is perfect. It's, we, we could still run into issues. 
And I'm just going to keep this load order around as long as I can and play it as much as I can. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and get us started. I'm going to take us back to where uh, Woden came into the world back at Nightgate Inn. And he has a quest. I think it's a silly miscellaneous quest. Let's see what it is. But uh, I think we're going to do that. It is. It's just to go pick up a follower. And it's some follower I've not tried before. So we'll just go pick her up for fun. And then we'll get her outfitted. And then we'll see what other kind of quest we run into. I kind of want to try to do um, somewhat of a random playthrough. And just, you know, just do the quest as we run into them. Now, I don't know how that will work out. We'll have to see. But that's what I would like to do. So we'll see how that goes for us. All right. Okay, so uh, like I said, I'm going to take us back to the beginning, and uh, we'll be right back. Stop right there, criminal scum!